In this video, I am going to dis discuss about the pile foundation. So after the analysis of our structure, again we are going to click on the foundation design and just include the load cases which you want to apply for the structure and click on include selected loads. So click on run, stru uh, run start foundation and the foundation software will be opened here and all the supports will be processed here. So as we seen for isolated footing, we need to create the uh, load generations here. So simply click on load factors and uh, you can go for load generation and click on generate load combination. And for ultimate also you have to create the generate load combination. So already it has been created here and you can go for job setup again. So click on job setup, create a new job and you can give the name as something like pile foundation or pile cap. So here we are going to design the pile cap actually. So the job type has to be changed for pile cap and the design code will be Indian code and the default unit type will be changed to SI units. And it, So if you want to assign for all the supports, you can assign for all the supports, okay. Or else wherever you want to, I mean for whatever column you want to assign the pile cap, you can simply select that one and you can design for that, okay. So let us assign to all supports and I'm going to assign uh, add the all load cases here and I'm just going to exclude the normal load cases, individual load cases. So click on exclude here and after including all the combinations there create job and under pile cap we are going to have the design parameters like strength of concrete, unit weight of concrete and if you want to apply the cover you can change the cover values etc. So just I, I'm going to uh, leave it like that and pile layout so predefined and parametric. So under predefined, just go for pile arrangement for support 1, support 2, okay. Like this you can assign for each and individual support. Let us assign for 1, okay. And here I am just going for unit as kilonewtons. You have to give the lateral, vertical and uplift uh, pile capacities there. So let us take something like 300 for example. I am just going to take all the values as 300. And here we are having pile diane spacing between the piles and edge distance. You can change them. And here we are having the pile arrangement type as auto arrangement and manual arrangement. You can give the x, y values here or you can go for auto arrangement and click on calculate. You are going to get the different combinations of the pile cap like this. Two pile arrangement, three pile under three pile. There are two cases again. And similarly for five pile arrangement. Okay. So totally depends, uh, depends upon the column strength. Okay. If there are uh, much load is coming on the column then you can select as per that so right now I'm going to select this uh, case one under three pile arrangement and click on ok so this has been applied for the support one and after that simply click on design and do you want to analyze just click on yes again and the output has been generated here you can see the pile I mean design for pile cap one similar way you can assign for uh, three four etc okay so I'm just going for lateral load as 300 again and vertical load is also 300 and if I want to change this one I can go for auto arrangement calculate and if I want to assign something like 5 or 4 like uh, 4 pile arrangement so click on that click on ok and again you can redesign so do you want to analyze yes. Now you can see the designs for design for pile cap 1 and pile cap 3. Okay, you can see the calculation part at the bottom. So simply you have to scroll down and you can see the calculation part here. Okay, and if you want to see the drawing, just go for uh, detail and schedule drawing. You can see the detail drawing here for footing number 1. And if you want to go for footing number 3, you can go for footing number 3 also. And you can save the drawing as a... Uh, AutoCAD file has we has I shown for the isolated footing. So you can see the calculator sheet and detail schedule drawing for the pile cap. In this way we can design for the pile foundation. For third footing I have given five, five uh, pile arrangement and for foundation for column number one I have given three pile cap arrangement. So you can see this here. Sorry for third one I have assigned four, four pile cap. So you can see that four piles have been assigned for the pile cap for third column like this you can design the pile cap for your given structure 